We're back. They're back. It's with your detonator. Well, welcome back, guys. Yeah, so I'm Wiz, and he's the Tyson. Yes. And we just finished watching another movie again. The Mask. Yes, if you didn't get the clue and <laughs> see the cover here, The Mask. So, what caused us to watch this movie? Well, we were watching a lot of dark films, and we wanted to, you know, have something fresh and comedic for a change, and this was refreshing, although it, it does have some dark moments. That were <laughs> well, one of them slightly was, cut was, out. Was admitted, yes. Well, we'll talk about that later. So there's a yeah. thing I noticed that we didn't do for, like, say, Starship Trooper is, uh, well, why don't you read the back of the description box? Oh, you want to do that? Yeah, because we usually do. All right. So it's more than just a movie. Jim Carrey, Bruce Almighty, Dumb and Dumber, stars as a mild-mannered blank, uh, sorry, bank clerk, Stanley Ipkiss, who discovers a mysterious ancient mask that brings his innermost desires to wild streaming life. Now, together with Cameron Diaz, Charlie's Angels Full Throttle, There's Something About Mary, and his sidekick Milo, the wise-cracking green tornado is taking Edge City over the top in this romantic action comedy that will leave you smoking. I guess. <laughs> well, there is definitely a lot of just smoking in this yeah. movie. Okay. So, so you've seen this movie before. Yes. Right? So what what did you think of it after re-watching it? I uh, definitely noticed a lot more things that I wouldn't have initially as a kid when I was watching it. I was probably uh, 12 the first time, 94. But, uh, yeah, a lot of the, the characters that Stanley Ipkiss' character... Played by uh, Jim Carrey. Played by Jim Carrey. Who's a Canadian comedian. Yeah, a lot of things that he's into... And he's just giving a call right now. <laughs> Smoking! But as I was saying, so a lot of the things that inspired this character, Ipkiss, to become like his innermost desires to come out as the mask, uh, like the Tasmanian devil is a pillow. There, there's a, there's a like couple that. of Looney Tunes stuff. Yeah, it's Looney very, Tunes. very cartoony. Yeah, I didn't really pay attention to that stuff when I was first watching it, so that was kind of cool. Um, I mean, I did notice, the obviously, when he's watching the VHS tape of that wolf who gets like... Was watching somebody singing and he was getting uh, uh, horny. Yeah, he got horny. Like that was whole... essentially it. Yeah, so he, he incorporates that as the mask later on, as well. Uh, but yeah, other than that, um, I'm trying to think, there was definitely a lot of sexual innuendo, uh, which I did notice watching initially, but uh, a lot more. Uh, I don't know. It's it's a lot less than Batman Returns. Yeah, yeah. or uh, what was the other one? Batman and Robin. Oh yeah, Probably that too. A lot too. But yeah, with this film. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it did really well for its time, the special effects. What do you what do you think of them? Well, this is my first time watching this movie. Like, I was always aware of this movie because of the video game and stuff. Yeah, you so knew forth. the video game before you watched the movie. <laughs> but it's like, I never yeah. got to see the movie, not even the trailers, which I actually got to see uh, while you were up taking a uh, piss. Oh, thanks. <laughs> piss yellow. Yeah, it's like Milo taking a piss on oh, the enemy, oh, yeah. enemies. God, dog dicks. Yeah, dog dicks. Yeah, there were dog dicks in this film well, as well. Oh, dog dicks. Dog dicks, or, yeah. Anyways, yeah, so I finally get to see this movie, and I gotta say, I, I quite enjoyed it. it. Like, I definitely laughed. You heard me laughing yeah, when I was uh, yeah, watching funny. it, because it was actually legitimately <laughs> funny. It was well it was well done, like you said. The special effects, definitely, they, they worked in the context of this movie, because you were asking me, like, oh, so what did you think of the special effects? And I'm like, you could tell it's CG, yeah. but in the context of this movie being cartoony, it kind of worked out, and it kind of blended in quite well, too, and it's done... Well, did it remind you of another any other film that tried to blend in animated with real you know real life characters? And if it worked, yeah. Oh, the Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Uh, okay. I, I would say that because it was done, that was done very well with the effects. Like it, you were able to believe it and not be like that looks CG. <laughs> How about so. uh, one of the first films that did that uh, back in nineteen eighty eight? Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Oh, I would say that's a different kind because yeah, yeah, yeah. you know it's supposed to be separate. Like animation, one, yeah. Because one was clearly animated yeah, and one was clearly real. True. It wasn't like that type of CG stuff. So I although th uh, with the villain in that film, uh, Doom, Doom, he does have moments Lloyd. where, like, you see, yeah, he has like a you know a normal human body, but then his you know his eyes get all cartoony and stuff, and yeah, so stuff like uh, they, they, that's they, very on the mask glove, except yeah, maybe slightly yeah. less. So I think they probably definitely. I mean, this film definitely got inspired by that for sure. And even things like, uh, you know, Dick Tracy. Have you seen that? No. Okay. The the costume. Yeah, the costume with the yellow, you know, uh, and the fedora and everything. That, that was definitely inspired by Dick Tracy. And even the the Tommy gun incident. Or yeah, 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 yeah. That's from from Dick Tracy. Yeah. So, <laughs> but overall, I 
I like the movie. The story was like as an adult look watching this. If I watched it as a kid, I'd probably be not that interested into it. I don't know. Yeah. Like I would like the mask moment, but as an adult <laughs> looking at it, like you know, it's got a nice message about like you know Fingers. people behind your mask. You just like you are already who you are. You're yes. Just, you're just hiding behind the mask that holds you back. That's true. So like, I thought it had a really nice message. The the acting was good. Like I I I, I they, they did a very good job and very believable. Effects also really good, and the pacing of the story is pretty good. Um, the movie is only a hundred and one minutes, but um, they managed to do a pretty good job. There were some—I I forget if there were some cringe-worthy moments, like where I'm just like, "Oh, really?" <laughs> I think maybe some of the lines or so forth. Oh yes, and of course the mask is uh, funny with all his stuff. Like he does references, and then you know, very cartoon stuff. So overall, I really, really like the movie. Yes, it's good for good laughs and. Uh... In terms of, uh, you know, the visuals were done well. Um, this was actually Cameron Diaz's first film, who played the uh, the, the love interest in this film. Tina. Tina. Uh, Charlie's Angel. and Yeah, Charlie's Angel. Oh, I, thought... I, I thought she was uh, Pamela Anderson. For no, point, but, but she was smoky. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, she was. She was rather hot. Yeah. Okay. We'll give so, her that. So Lots. what? So... Oh geez, so what? So what did you? Did I appreciate this? Uh, yeah. I think... Well, I was gonna say, what were you? What were you? What did you think about the the the? Well, like, what's the plot of this? I know you just read the DVD, back of the DVD, but still. Well, I mean, it's it's battling with the idea of like you know the nice guy finishing last, but it it is trying to tell you to to be true to yourself, because uh, he is trying to be somebody that he's not at one time. He's, yeah, yeah, he's, he's yeah. Jim, and... Jim Carrey is a banker, and yeah. basically he's he's the nicest guy ever, and uh, <laughs> everyone kind of takes advantage of him. Maybe he notices that, that, that that is actually a mask. Like, he's trying to be overly nice. So maybe, like... Yeah, that is his mask. That's yeah, the whole point. Like, he's holding his... Because, yeah, like, exactly. uh, remember when he was talking to his uh, his landlord? It was like, he, he didn't... He was like, you know what? You know what? Wait, he months. says it. Yeah, he says it after the. Fuck, he's like, fuck, you know what? And it's like, <laughs> she's like, what? Not, nothing. And when she leaves, yeah. he's like, she, he, he, he says, I'm like, I should have said that. And then with his, uh, his banker boss, uh, Mister, Mister Dicky, he, he finally like can't hold back. And he actually lets out some of that frustration for the first time after becoming the mask. So I guess that kind of brings out his inner well, self. Now that you bring that up, uh, <laughs> uh this movie, the, like the mask. Of, appearance like appears pretty quickly like in the first 20 minutes or so yeah. i was I, I was not expecting that because usually like say superhero movies gotta have that like 30 minute or an hour build up and it's just like all oh, the rest of the movie is like oh now we got the <laughs> hero portion of it and in the mask is sort of a, a bit of a hero just kind of um anti-hero sort yeah i mean i think the whole uh what's the word i'm looking for the film was called from zero well Sorry, from zero to hero. That was the the tagline, I guess you should call it. Oh, really? I yeah, think, from I think... zero to hero. I think it's is it on the cover? Hold on. No, they got rid of. Yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, yeah. So the mask from zero to hero. Yep. But yeah, what else can we say about this? Well, funny speaking film? of the video game, yeah, uh, I I played it, and it, the video game is fairly accurate to this movie. Like there was yeah, a scene right. with the cl- with the clock and the hammer, the gun, and the effects I, I was like wow they actually did take a whole lot from the movie and uh, that scene where jim carrey like or you know his character threw up <laughs> tina yeah. that was also in the game too except that was at the at the at end the though end, yeah. which was kind of a little bit weird okay so they used that as the ending for now yeah 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 which uh okay it, in the game context it it, it was appropriate like yeah. i thought like oh hey that kind of worked out yeah, because usually video game films, I mean, sorry, games based on, on films won't be exactly true to the source material, but it, by the sounds of it, it incorporated a lot, a great deal of like, it. Right, so. Yeah, the effects definitely, and yeah. that game ends in 18 minutes if you're really fat. <laughs> uh, what did you think of uh, Milo's, or I the guess dog. the actual dog's name is Max? Uh, but yeah. It's I, performing. Ah, uh, he, did a, he, did the, well. he did a good job. They had a good trainer, like, Make teaching him to do all that stuff so definitely one of the, rather impressive definitely one of the stars of this film for sure uh, i think that scene that you liked the most was with what the mask is like in the air and they're all the henchmen are trying to get it and <laughs> <Violet> comes out <laughs> of okay i guess we could always talk about the, co- yeah. the comedy scenes that was one of them when uh yeah. near the end jim carrey has to get the mask and natina kicks the mask out of the guy dorian. out of the dorian's yeah. face i keep thinking dorian you know the fruit yeah, yeah no. well, he's kicks not, the mask he... out of the face and all the henchmen <laughs> fail to grab it and then like at the end like 
Milo jumps on and grabs it. It was like the most epic. Like, yeah, <laughs> you you get that mask, Milo. And then I was like, yeah. didn't he become the mask at one point? I was like, yes. Yes, he did, yes. So even the dog gets to wear the mask in this film. And then, I'm, I mean, we were mentioning about the sequel later on. There was the son of the mask. Well, and well, there was um, supposed to be the mask, too, but that never got yeah, made. Yeah, they changed it. I wonder, if, did they ask Jim Carrey to reprise the role? I'm not, I'm well, not they, sure. Well, they, they should have. Yeah. I, I don't think so, though. I, I think I recall it not being Jim Carrey, which is like, no, you got to have Jim Carrey for this. And, and and speaking of Jim Carrey, like, when he's the mask, I actually can't tell it's Jim Carrey. I'm just like, it's... It, it is the mask. It's com- it's just completely someone else. Um, there's another funny scene with like the when when he was the mask and he got caught by all the SWAT teams and they started dancing. Oh, yeah. I was that like, was, was I was like, this scene. is so ridiculous. It's funny because you got all these certified serious stern cops and they're and just all. Oh yeah, that's also where because I I yeah. heard that music from a flash animation, so uh, I didn't know it was actually from this movie. Yeah. So I was like, "Oh, this is this is where it was." Okay, now it's now I kind of get the joke a little bit more. Yeah, so it was kind of like a, a musical in, in some ways yeah, at times. So oh was, yeah, was actually, cool. I didn't say this, but earlier in my head, I was like, "I hope there's no musical where Jim Carrey sings about like shit, like a Disney well, movie." Yes, but that happened. But that was different. That was his way of getting out of it, and it yeah, kind of worked, worked in the context of the movie. <laughs> Uh, let's oh. see. And what about the deleted scenes? There were yeah, surprisingly there... there were only just two. Yeah, there were two deleted scenes. Uh, this is actually my first time seeing them today. And, Mine too. Uh, yeah, I think initially the, the film was going to open with a, a Viking scene. A Viking scene because the mask is uh... very primitive from. A primitive... No, no, no. The mask was a uh, was a medium to hold Loki, Loki, the god of the Norse god of mischief, and then you got yeah. these Vikings like putting the his his spirit into the mask, and yeah, that opening it. scene was supposed to establish where it was because in the opening scene of the movie they don't show that it's just no. like hey there's this chest down you know what why did they even go down there yeah the, the opening scene didn't really make sense actually um because uh, there's some scuba divers trying to look for treasure i guess and in, in like, yeah. like what chicago or something there's like, like a chest box down there so they go and then some random pipe gets dropped <laughs> and then the scuba, scuba diver <laughs> dies <laughs> scuba diver i guess and then the, the, the mask just floats up. <laughs> the mask just floats up into the conveniently, thing. right? That I don't know. That seemed pretty weird. So maybe the Viking scene might have been better, but the, the Vikings? No, it wouldn't, because it still wouldn't explain why yeah, the di- goes scuba up. divers are there. It wasn't like a you know there could have been like a person been like oh back in Norse mythology there was this mask that uh, the Vikings yeah. hit uh, get hidden like like the Vikings back then made a little like note to be like don't search for this <laughs> mask it will cause massive chaos and someone in present time finds it like it's down here somewhere let's go grab it. Pipe breaks for no reason, and the mask disappears. Like, where is it? And then you have this subplot of like those people trying to find the mask. Yeah, that could and so work, forth. Yeah. Like, um, because you got you got the the, the gang, I, I suppose. Yeah, you could have had like Jim Carrey and his stuff. Uh, the gang that you know wants to control the place. Yeah, they're and so gang. forth. And then you could have like the researchers that were trying to look for the mask, and like, uh, because at, at the end, Jim Carrey throws the mask away. Yeah. And it's like it could have been a thing where it's like Jim Carrey could have given the mask to the research or whatever, or like just throw it away so they can't fall into anyone yeah. else's hands. But then Charlie, uh, his friend, well, his supposed best friend, oh, his co worker friend, co-worker friend oh, tries, to, tries to get it, and uh, Milo takes uh, it away, takes, beats it to him because it. it's the whole message about like like being yourself and not hiding behind the mask. So Jim Carrey was like, I don't need this mask, I'm already everything I am. It's well, especially when you get with uh. <laughs> Well, uh, Cameron Diaz. Or... Cameron Diaz. I mean, dude, she's hot. when you got that, I don't think you really need much except for you know stuff like money and so forth. Yeah. I can... uh, in the second deleted scene, this was this actually explained a yeah. few things because when we were watching it and at the end, I was like, "So what happened to the reporter? She just get off scot free?" And I was like, "Yeah." Because like, th- didn't that bother you though? Like, it's just yeah, like so... we don't men- we don't hear anything of her afterwards. So Peggy Brandt, uh, who first apparently published one of Stanley Ifkus's letter where he is dubbed as the the nicest guy nice, or well nice guys finished last I think it was the art, yeah it, 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 was, it was like a hundred women would, would, want that would, love, would die to meet a guy like you and she says she's one of them but we, we find out that her characters are yeah asshole. she just uses people she just uh, basically she wants money she wants money and she uses Stanley Ifkus but then uh, rats him out to the you know Dorian Tyrell's people and everything so they take him, take his mask, and give her the fifty thousand. Supposedly, that's how it, it ends in the film. But <laughs> yeah, go on. But this deleted scene, no, it was actually when it, it took a dark twist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, like after that scene, you don't see Peggy anymore. Like yeah. I was like, well, shouldn't Jim Carrey go back and be like, 
bitch. Because <laughs> wouldn't you do that sort of? Or you'd be like, fuck you, asshole. <laughs> come, come on. But he's supposed to be a nice guy, so I guess he wouldn't really... Like, I'd f- he'd feel pretty bad for being used like that, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then in the deleted scene, we find out what happened to Peggy. She dies in that same scene she gets the money. Yeah. And it was like... Dorian whoofed the mask on and throws Peggy into, like, the... Publishing. This newspaper uh, yeah. press. And uh, just like from the Spider-Man PS1 game, if you fall in the press, you get flattened. Yeah. Although, because it's comedic, she gets turned into newspaper, yeah, which is front, still fucking front dark. Page, front page material, With yeah. red text, with by the way. Not yeah. not black text. Yeah, it was red, but... So, no matter how you how you tried to look at it, that, that was fucking dark. <laughs> so, I was like... Yeah. Well, that explained a lot, but yeah. that's it. I, but I was kind of glad they didn't put it in the movie. Well, it, it also showed, you know, how ruthless, how ruthless Dorian's, you know, inner character is. I mean, yeah, you know. I almost forgot. Like uh, that bald guy was actually threatening him to, like, uh, you know, get the fuck out of town because you've been using my places as uh, your little scam places. Yeah, and he gets back to him. Yeah. yeah, but anyways, yeah, Peggy. Like, I guess I, I, I like the character in the beginning, but when it got to the ratting Jim Car- or uh, ratting Stanley uh, lip kiss yeah. character, I was like, you fucking piece <laughs> of shit. Because she gets the money, it's like, hey, because she was like, you know, she looks like this really honest person, and it's like, uh, no. So do you she, really think? Uh, you know what? She was mask? that was her mask. She was pretending to be honest, but oh, she wasn't. Well, yeah. more more subtle. But anyways, yeah. yeah so she's like, uh, she she wants the money. It's like, do you know how hard it is to get an apartment in this place? And then. <laughs> And then when they took Jim or Stanley Epkins to like get press, uh, she's like, "But you promised you wouldn't hurt him," and I was like, "Fuck <laughs> you! Come on! After you're like ratting him out, you're gonna expect him not to get hurt? Like, come on, yeah. come on! Would you would you have said like, oh fuck you? You wouldn't? <laughs> see, oh, oh, now she's all good because she actually cares. Fuck you! Yeah. Bullshit. <laughs> well. So yeah. So I, I guess that would be the only character that they didn't like particularly like. Uh... I mean, I'm trying to think what else we could point, cover here. Uh, well, I don't know. I think we kind of, t- like, we're not talking about the specific stories because a lot of it is kind of hard to under- to explain. Well, not hard to explain, but to describe it would just kind of be destroying its, uh, the incentive to watch it because, like, you really yeah, should we, watch this movie because, like, the if visuals you have, are if nice. you haven't already, yep. But, uh,. Yeah, uh, I guess the last <laughs> thing we can say is, would we recommend it? Or, yeah. Yes. Or would you recommend it? Definitely recommend it. Yeah, I definitely would recommend it, too. Uh, would you watch it again? Yeah, I've seen this movie a lot of times. Actually, my, probably my favorite Jim Carrey film. And actually, yeah, yeah, because this is the one, like, when I think Jim Carrey, this is one of the films yeah. I think of. It's, I think this was the first Jim Carrey film that I that I saw. I think, uh, even though Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, came out oh. a year earlier. Wait, I saw that one first. first. Yeah. I know I saw the trailer for Ace Ventura, but I only saw it after The Mask, so probably 90, 94, 95, um, when it came out on VHS. Yeah. Uh, would I watch it again? You know what? I, I kind of would. It's a nice, it's a very nice movie. It has a nice message, and overall, it, it's done really, really well yeah. for the most part. So definitely would go check out The Mask and recommend that you would too, if you ever get the chance. I should probably get that DVD at a Shoppers Drug Mart, though. Oh, they four, have the four Jim Carrey movies, because it had Dumb and Dumber, Yes Man, The Mask, and one more movie I forget. Okay. All right, well, thank you guys. Have a fantastic week. Promise we'll be back. We'll be back. Yeah, next time for another movie. And don't forget yeah. the... What are you going to say? <laughs> I was going to say something else. Don't forget to be smoking! Yes. We all wear masks, metaphorically speaking. Yes, Peggy. Smoking!